everybody this is Megan uh, I'm doing a tutorial today for our Thursday tips tricks and tutorials on uh, the lolly dips group page uh, today I'm going to be working with decals specifically some of these wonderful decals we have here from uh, sassy slides uh, Brooke Fry is actually Lolly's uh, guest ambassador for June, and she is the owner of this wonderful company, uh, Sassy Slide. She has an Etsy shop, which is where I picked up these bad boys. Uh, I'm going to be applying them to my nails. I've already done part, I've done the color with Lolly Dips, all four blues. And I'm going to be applying uh, the decals to my thumb and ring finger. I'll just do uh, one hand unless everything goes terribly wrong. And I have to do the other one to show you how to do it right. So this is my very first uh, tutorial. Please uh, forgive my stumbles and uh, faux pas and uh, be nice. All right, here we go. Before we start, uh, you're going to want a little cup of water, uh, some uh, lint-free uh, wipes or paper towel, tweezers, some scissors. Uh, you want your file and uh, your decals. Now, today I'm going to be applying these using uh, gel products. Um, I find that to be easier, but I do want to say that you can apply these using dip liquids if you do have a gel allergy. I did do a test nail with a uh, oopsie sheet that Brooke sent me with my order um, just to see how they'd hold up with dip liquids. And this is uh, the test nail. Uh, I did this with dip liquids and then I encapsulated it with clear. The decal held up just fine with my dip liquids. I was using the Sundara uh, Gentle Base and Activator and there were no issues. The slide, some water slides disintegrate, but these do not. As you can see, it went on just fine. This test nail uh, turned out great. So continuing on with the gel products, what you're going to do first is you want to have um, the best base for decals is a light base or a white base. Now I have this milky white builder gel on my full cover tips right now, um, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, paint them over with some white uh, gel polish because I want the decals to really pop. Um, so I'm going to give them a nice bright white base. So uh, I'll probably speed this up while I'm doing that so you do not have to listen to me breathe like a weirdo. Alright, so we've come back. We've got a nice white base. I did two coats on my thumb because I'm going to use a partial decal, but I just did one coat on the ring finger because I'm going to use one of the full cover decals. So what you want to do is you want to cut around your decal. I have these little cuticle scissors. Um, obviously you can use whatever scissors work for you. You want to get as close as you can to the edge of the decal. Okay, so there's the full cover one. Now, when you're doing these partial decals, this paper is clear. So you can, if you wanted, do a full cover, but I find that they look better if you cut very, very close to the outline. So we're going to get as detailed as we can around these peacocks. All right, so you see I've cut as close as I can around that decal. It doesn't have to be perfect. And when you're ready, go ahead and you're going to stick your decal in the water for, I don't know, 10 or 20 seconds. And you're going to see it's going to curl up like that. That's totally normal. Give it a few seconds. Some decals take longer than others. These ones are pretty thick, which is nice. They don't break too easy. So it does take them a little bit longer. You can kind of help it. Um along its way and when it starts to kind of flatten out like that it's not as curly you're going to want to take it out and just put it on your lint-free wipe or your paper towel right and you'll see you just kind of slide it right off right comes right off 
I like to pick it up, get rid of the backing, and then pat it dry. Now, if the top side of your decal is wet, you'll want to pat it between two. This one has stayed pretty dry, but sometimes they can get wet. Don't worry. It won't ruin them. Now, what I've done is I've not top coated uh, this uh, gel, so it's a little bit sticky, right? And you want that. You want it to be a little bit sticky. Now, with some decals, I actually like to use this uh, nail art foil glue. It's very, very sticky, but I'm just going to try it straight over the polish um, because I'm going to encapsulate it with a base coat. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to place this, and you can see how transparent these dips are. And so when you put them, or these dips, these decals are, so when you put them over a darker color, they can really disappear on you, which is why that white or light background is really important. So I'm going to go ahead and place this. And then, oops, when I have it where I want it, I'll go ahead. Uh, see, yeah, this nail polish gel but it's not sticky enough so regroup we're going to use my uh nail art foil glue this is just beetles got it off amazon all right so round two still have our uh decal here ready to go I want it to face that way. So again, we're just going to place it very carefully because again, this stuff is very sticky. And you're just going to use your finger, your nail. Don't worry if it wrinkles, you can smooth those out. I start from the cuticle, work my way up, smoothing out as I go. You can see I have a little bit, some wrinkles there, so just rub them out. Now, you can see here that I made a little bit of a mistake, right? I've got some extra on this side. But here, and it's not even really a mistake. They're just a little narrow for my nails, but that's all right. I'll show you how to fix that. We'll steal some from up here. And then just do a patch. Now, when you've got a pattern like this, it's easy to kind of hide them. Some of them aren't as forgiving, but this one should be fine. And because that foil art glue is so sticky, I just patch that little white peeking through. And you can't even tell. And honestly, if you're that close to my nails, you're too close to me. All right good and stuck on there and then you just want to take your scissors and trim as much as you as you can off careful you don't ruin your patch job if you did a patch And one thing to be aware of is as the water slide dries out, it does become a little bit brittle. You do have to be careful, especially if you did like what I did and let it sit and dry out a lot while it was waiting for me to get my act together. Okay, then you take your file, 
and you just file off the edge there and then Now some people will take a brush with some acetone and they'll clean up the edges that way, but I like to just file. So there it is, applied onto my nail. Very pretty and you can see the colors really pop with that wipe underneath it. I'm going to go ahead and apply gel base and gel top coat and show you the finished product. Okay, we're back. It's nice and cured. You can see it's nice and shiny. Benefit to a pattern like this is that even if I where I had a little wrinkle here and there, you can't tell. You can't really see unless you're really evaluating and looking. You can't see that little patch job. It's really beautiful. I'm very, very happy with it. I love how the colors turned out. All right. Now we're going to go on to this little guy. Now I'm going to play with the placement a little to see where I want this. So nail art glue. All right. Pick up that little guy. Pop him in the water. This one might be a little trickier. We got to get the placement just right because this uh, foil glue is very, very sticky. And uh, easily rip the decal. So I know it's hard to see what's happening under my finger, but it did just kind of slide right off the paper. Gotta make sure he's nice and dry. And again, you can see how uh, transparent the decal is um, and then when you move it over white you can start seeing the details so I'm gonna place this <laughs> right at the edge and a little over and then because it's very sticky, I'm going to go ahead and use an orange stick because I don't want to be smearing my hands in that gel glue. I'm just going to paste him down. And then we'll go ahead and gel base and top coat and I'll come back and show you the finished product. Okay, we're back. I stuck a couple little rhinestones on there and you can see the end result. And that, folks, ends my tutorial on how to apply decals. Um, certainly not the uh, best, I'm sure, but... Uh, that's what I do, and um, if you have tips, tricks, tutorials around this, uh, ways to do it better, things that you do that find works for you, please let us know in the comments. This is all about sharing information, growing together, um, and you know, just doing the the thing that we love uh, in a positive way. I hope you are all well.